Today I'm going to be demonstrating a cross-table lateral cervical x-ray. Uh, this is most routinely done on patients who are either post-operative that is unable to uh, sit up or anything, or a trauma patient. Uh, so we're going to demonstrate how, how to do it. The uh, film size will be a 10 by 12. It'll be lengthwise with the neck. Technical factors, it's going to be uh, 60 kV at 10 mass. Uh, we do want to go ahead and place the shield on the patient. Now, the patient will uh, could either come in with a collar uh, on or without the collar. Now, we do not remove the collar for the exam. Uh, the physician routinely wants to see this x-ray done and it be cleared before the collar comes off. You do need to annotate this on the film that it was taken with a collar on or with a collar off. And you do want to make sure that the patient, if they have necklace or earrings or anything like that, if you can reach through the collar and take them off, you want to try and get them off if you at all possible. Okay, so we're going to have the patient, uh, again, laying on the table. We're going to have a weight that I'm putting behind the uh, film holder here to actually keep it in place so it doesn't fall over. And then our centering uh, is going to be sim very similar to a, a regular cervical x-ray. Uh, our SID needs to be 60 to 72 inch SID. I'm just, his, his, his head is straight. You wouldn't actually do that on a real patient, but I'm just trying to straighten him up there a little bit for our demonstration purposes. We're going to center. Uh, at the same level, about the C4, and as far as centering up and down, we want to go about to the thyroid cartilage, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, to the uh, mastoid tip uh, at the level of thyroid cartilage. Our culmination is going to be IR borders, up and down, and it's going to be to the skin margins, uh, top to bottom. We're going to use our left marker. It will be in the light field, uh, not obstructing, but in the, uh, in the light field. We are going to have the patient, we can't have the patient to get their arms down, actually have the patient put your arms by your side for me. We can actually give the patient a sheet that they can hold in each hand, wrap it around their feet, and they, what they can do is they can actually pull down uh, on the, uh, the sheet so that they can relax their shoulders down. You're going to expose this on expiration uh, again, so we can get the shoulders as relaxed as we possibly can. So the patient's going to relax her shoulders down. We're going to verify our centering is correct. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, make our exposure. Now you may have to, if you don't see the uh, C all the way through C7, you may have to actually include a swimmer's view with this. And if you do, we'll have to actually, we'll use a grid and it will be similar. The centering will be exactly the same as it would be uh, for a cervical swimmers that we do at the board. You're going to center about uh, a T1, T1 area to see the transition between T7, I'm sorry, C7 and T1. And this is our cross table lateral cervical.